Symptoms of multiple sclerosis, MS, are varied, but common complaints include fatigue, pain, weakness, paresthesia, spasticity, coordination, and gait issues. Small studies have demonstrated that manipulative therapies, including osteopathic manipulative medicine, OMT, can decrease fatigue and increase the quality of life in healthy patients and those who suffer from chronic diseases in which fatigue is a major component. Work of breathing can play a role in fatigue and fatigue may contribute to weakness of the respiratory muscles. Patients with MS may have compromised respiratory physiology. Moderate to advanced MS may have significant respiratory dysfunction and complications. Diagnosis and treatment of the thoracic diaphragm may improve respiratory dysfunction affecting lung, vascular, and lymphatic physiologic motion. The thoracic diaphragm is a domed circular muscle of respiration with a central tendon. Its anterior attachments include the xiphoid and the costal cartilaginous margin of ribs 7 through 12. Posteriorly, the diaphragm attaches to the lumbar vertebra L1 through 3 via the diaphragmatic crura and the medial and lateral longitudinal arches over the iliopsoas and chondritis laborum. The thoracic diaphragm with inhalation optimally descends or flattens from a fully domed position while concurrently increasing the lateral diameter of the lower costal structures. Osteopathic manipulative treatment of the thoracic diaphragm can, quote, redome a dysfunctional or flattened muscle to optimize its physiologic motion in respiration. The thoracic doming technique is primarily a passive myofascial technique. The patient is in the supine position while the physician is standing at the level of the abdomen facing cephalad. The physician's hands will contact bilaterally along the anterior inferior aspect of the thoracic cage with the thumb, thenar, and hypothenar eminences. The thumbs project along the costal margin towards the sternum with remaining fingers spread out to create a broad contact on the inferior and anterior thoracic cage. With slight bilateral compression directed medially and slightly superiorly, the physician can discriminate and engage the thoracic diaphragm for diagnostic motion testing assessment. The patient is directed to perform maximal inhalation and exhalation to test active range of motion, assessing comparative hemidiaphragm amplitude and phasic preference named for the position of ease. Please take a breath in. Good and out. In this case, you diagnose preference of the side left or right and inhalation or exhalation. Treatment of the thoracic diaphragm commonly utilizes the exhalation phase of respiration. Using the same contact, compress cephalically both hemidiaphragms. The patient provides respiratory cooperation as you move your thumbs gently, posteriorly and superior, on exhalation. Please take a breath in and then breathe out. Maintain pressure on inhalation, gently resisting the downward motion. This redomes the diaphragm and further lengthens the muscle fibers of the thoracic diaphragm. The physician slowly releases their hands after three to five breath cycles, or if no additional tissue lengthening is palpated. Recheck thoracic diaphragm motion via the diagnostic testing as previously described. Diaphragm redoming is generally well tolerated. However, contraindications may include intravenous lines that are present, drainage tubes, incisions near the area, severe hernias, rib or vertebral fractures, malignancy in the area, or undiagnosed chest or epigastric pain.